I'm Cory Doctorow, and you're listening to a Creative Commons licensed podcast. Some rights reserved. This is the Trilingual Chatbox podcast. We're Laurie from Taiwan. And I from Japan. In this podcast, we share our Japanese and Mandarin language learning experience with our audience in English. If you're interested or you have a similar language learning background, welcome to join us. You know, Lori san, in Japan, on Valentine's Day, girls give chocolate to boys. How about you? My son, mo, dare ga ni chocolate o akemashita ka? Hai, akemashita. I used to give chocolate to my dad and my brothers. Otousan to ototo tachi ni maitoshi agete imashita. Did your brothers get chocolate from girls from school? Otoudo san tachi wa gakou no onna no ko ni chocolate o moraimashita ka? Yep, some girls gave it to them. Hai, nanin ka no onna no ko tachi ga kuremashita. But some popular boys get many gifts on that day. ありがとうございます。いいですね。私ももらいたいです。はい、ロリさん。ハロー、マイさん。ハロー、エブリワン。ハロー、エブリワン。はい。キュー。オッケー。ソー、インデスキッツ、ウィトークドアバットデヴァ
about this one who received the smartphone. Okay, moraimas is the verb and ken wa is the subject. So he received the smartphone. Mm, that's right. That's right. Uh, do you have any questions? Um, yeah, I do have one question. Um, mm -hmm. What about if I say, Ken wa watashi ni smaho wo moraimasu? Is, mm -hmm. is it okay if I use watashi ni? Actually, it sounds unnatural to me. Mm. So I think if you want to say that, then we usually say, I give. I give. So uh, instead of it, it would be kuraimasu. Oh, I give. So I agemas. Agemas. Ah, right, right, right. Watashi wa. Agemas. Agemas. Okay. Right. That's yeah. That sounds better. So, um, like in the sentence structure of moraimas, mm -hmm. I should avoid using watashi ni. Mm, right. Right. That's right. Okay. Like you should avoid. Using that. Right. Okay. All right. So, next one is let's talk about the particles. So, in Japanese, we use uh, different particles to indicate relations of words within a sentence. So, we use wa or ga after a subject to indicate a subject. Mm -hmm. Right. Then, technically speaking, wa is a topic marker and ga is a subject marker. Mm -hmm. okay. One big difference between them, I think, is that wa emphasize the word behind the particle and mm -hmm. ga emphasize the word before the particle. Mm -hmm. So if you okay. use wa, sounds more like stating a fact. Okay. So don't worry, I will give you some examples. Right. First example, my brother received a book from his teacher. It's ototo wa sensei ni hon wo moraimashita. Mm -hmm. So ototo is a subject in this mm -hmm. sentence. Right. So it's like a fact, right? Ototo mm -hmm. wa sensei ni hon moraimashita. So I'm but just telling what happened. It's and, possible mm -hmm. you say ototo ga. Mm, that's right. So if you say ototo ga, then it sounds like the speaker is emphasizing who received the book. Mm -hmm. right? So it kind of implying that I didn't receive the book, my brother did. Okay, so it, it must be placed uh, in certain in a certain context so mm -hmm. that the emphasis is needed. That's right, that's right. If mm -hmm. if somebody asks you, did you get book from your teacher? Then then if I want to say, no, my brother did, then ototo ga moraimashita. Right, right. Mm. Okay, so on the side note, if question words such as dare, nani, mm -hmm. doko are the subject, they are mm -hmm. always with ga. Okay. So, dare ga kuremashita ka, nani ka. Nani. Yeah, all the question words. Right. Okay, next one. Next particle is ni. Okay, let's go back to our example sentence. Ototo wa sensei ni hon wo moraimashita. Right? So mm -hmm. the particle ni has um, some different functions. Today, I just mentioned the usage of ni with the verb ageru, kureru, mm -hmm. morau. Mm -hmm. So ni means to or from with the verb ageru, kureru, morau. Mm -hmm. okay. So with the verb ageru, kureru, ni means to. To. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's like give to someone. someone. With the verb morau, ni means from. So receive right. from. I will give you examples. Okay. So, okay. Lori san gave some cookies to me. Lori san wa watashi ni cookie wo kuremashita. Mm -hmm. I received some cookies from Lori san. Watashi wa Lori san ni cookie wo moraimashita. So first one, first example sentence was Lori san gave to me. So Lori san wa watashi ni Kuremashita. Mm -hmm. Second one was received from Lori san. So, watashi wa Lori san ni kuki wo moraimashita. Okay. Okay. Ah, and in this sentence, you cannot use agemashita, right? Okay. So, here you can also use kara 
instead of ni with uh, with the verb morau. Mm -hmm. Or I can say watashi wa lori san ni oh, instead of ni watashi wa lori san kara cookie wo moraimashita. Mm -hmm. So that means from. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so last one is wo. Wo uh, marks an object. Okay, so watashi wa lori san ni cookie wo moraimashita. What did I receive? Cookie, right? Cookie. Sorry, this one's mm -hmm. wo. Cookie, wo. Right. Nani wo. Okay, so I have two more things to point out. First one, in Japanese, we often leave out watashi or anata. So if you want to say, I received a gift from my boyfriend, then kareshi ni presento moraimashita. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to say watashi wa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can say it actually, but that's right. In a daily conversation, we usually leave out watashi wa. Mm -hmm. Okay. So hearing this sentence, people automatically think the subject of the sentence is watashi. Okay. Is it more polite to leave it out? Mm, I think it's more polite if you put watashi, watashi wa. Oh. So it's casual to leave it out, not because it sounds like you're emphasizing yourself. Watashi wa. Mm, right. Yeah, emphasizing. Yeah, emphasizing. Watashi wa. If, if you say, if you say watashi wa, then it sounds a bit like you didn't, but I did. Uh, but, but you just say that, uh, you just said that it's usually ga that um, that is used to emphasize the subject. What about watashi ga? Mm -hmm. If you say watashi ga received, oh, that's right, that's right. Watashi ga presento moraimashita. It's like I, yeah, I received, <laughs> not you. Watashi ga, watashi wa presento moraimashita. But you didn't. Mm. Oh, the watashi wa is watashi wa. I I received a present, but you didn't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it sounds like if you emphasize, then watashi ga presento moraimashita is I received a present, not to you. Okay. You know, <laughs> slight <laughs> difference. Yeah, very but, slight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but only if you emphasize, you know. If you like, so if I really want to emphasize, I use watashi ga. Otherwise, uh, uh, I just uh, leave uh, it right. out and never uh, mention uh, it uh, in the sentence. If you can say watashi wa, watashi wa, mm, but in a daily conversation, we don't usually say it. Okay. Yeah, leave out watashi wa. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Got it. Okay. Next one. Uh, next example is, did you receive a gift from your boyfriend? So you can leave out what uh, you part. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you don't have to you don't have to say anata wa. Anata. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We we don't really say anata. Yeah. That, okay. Mm -hmm. I I noticed that. <laughs> um, and it's probably because it's more polite not to point out you uh -huh. all the time. Mm, yeah, usually we don't say anata and we say name. The name. So if yeah. I want to ask you, like, did Lori san receive a gift from your boyfriend? Like that. Mm -hmm. I usually say, Lori san wa kare ni present moraimashita ka? So usually we put names or title of the person. What if I really used anata? What, what would what would it sound like? Does it sound like I'm a rude person? <laughs> a bit strange, but um, <laughs> sounds sounds well, I like I never do that, but <laughs> I'm just curious. It sounds not native, maybe. Oh, okay. Or like you sounds like you're reading a sentence in a textbook. Ah, I see. 
Okay, I have another one, another uh, point I want to make mm -hmm. is when you use the verb morau to receive, you don't have to indicate the giver who's giving something. For example, watashi wa kakkou de pen wo moraimashita. I received the pen. Right. So you don't have to say from whom. Mm -hmm. yeah. But if you use kureru, the verb kureru, then you have to mention who gave it who to you. Who gave it to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I have to say, kakkou de sensei ga watashi ni pen wo kuremashita. Okay. But kakkou de pen wo moraimashita. It's okay. Okay, it doesn't matter who gave it to you. Right, that's right. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay. okay. Uh, <laughs> still very confusing. <laughs> I need okay, some practice. So, <laughs> what are we going to do now? Yeah. <laughs> okay, quiz, quiz time. Okay. Right. Today I have only three questions, but okay. they are a bit harder. Than last oh, time. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Today I will ask you to translate sentences. Okay, I'll try. <laughs> okay. So I will tell you English sentence mm -hmm. and yeah, tell me the translation. Right. In Japanese. Okay. First out. Oh, you know Doraemon, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the first <laughs> sentence is Doraemon received cookies from Nobita-kun yesterday. Mm -hmm. Tell me Doraemon in Japanese. received cookies Cookie. from, from Nobita-kun Nobita um, yesterday. yesterday. Um, Kino Doraemon wa uh, Nobita-kun ni cookie wo moraimashita. Mm, that's right. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, second, second question. Yeah, Nobita kun gave dry, uh, Nobita kun gave cookies to Doraemon yesterday. Nobita kun wa uh, Doraemon ni cookie wo moraimashita. Kino, kino. <laughs> one more time, one more time. Nobita kun gave <laughs> Cookies to Doraemon yesterday. Gave cookies to Doraemon yesterday. Ah, akemashita. Mm -hmm. That's right. Kino Nobita kun wa Doraemon ni cookie wo akemashita. That's right. Ah. <laughs> okay, last one. Okay. Doraemon receives letters every day. Receives letters every day. Uh -huh. uh, Doraemon wa tegami wo uh, moraimasu. Mm. Yes. Okay. Ah, every day. Oh, okay. My yeah. day. <laughs> See, mm. I'm using English to translate. <laughs> so the time it always comes. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but in Chinese, usually it comes first, right? First, yeah, first, but. But I'm thinking in English right now, <laughs> so. <laughs> I see. Okay, so Doraemon wa mainichi tegami wo moraimasu. Right. <laughs> mm, okay, but you did well. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Next. Okay. Uh, hey. 100 ten wa Rory san ni 100 ten wo agemasu. Ah, happily received. Perfect. <laughs> 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 So that's all for today's episode. Yeah, I hope everyone um, got the gist of it like I did. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed today's episode. We'll be discussing another topic focusing on Mandarin Chinese that's specifically chosen by my son next time. So welcome to join us again. If you have any questions, suggestions, or if you want us to discuss a certain topic, please leave a voice message to us. We will try to make an episode on that topic. Alright, see you next time. Bye!